up, everybody? It's Chase Bassett here with Ellerbrock Norris. Today, I'm going to uh, shoot another video around captive insurance within the video series I'm putting together. Today, I want to discuss another uh, common concern that we hear, and that is that captive insurance is too risky. Now, no doubt, when you join a captive insurance program, you have more skin in the game than you would if you were in the traditional insurance marketplace. Now, a question we always ask is, how extensive of an analysis have you done to fully understand this. Now it's important to model out what a captive insurance program would look like for your organization over the next five to 10 years, really analyze how the performance would look if we had a good claims year, an average claims year, and even a worst case scenario claims years over the next five years and see what that looks like for your organization and put real dollars to it so that, so that you know, and you have a clear picture on what this would look like. And then once we do that, we compare that to what our performance has been over the past five years. How much have we paid in, in premiums and how many, how many claims have we incurred? And what is that difference? Should we have received money back? And, and how has our performance been um, in the past? And again, this is all part of the analysis that needs to be done on the front end. But uh, it's important to get a clear understanding on, on how that would look. And then from there, you can make the decision on uh, your risk tolerance when uh, considering a captive option. So I wanted to make sure I hit on that. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and uh, have a good day. Thanks.